hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's another episode of Mel's kitchen and style today in my kitchen i'm going to be showing you how to make chicken chasseur chicken chasseur is just um a different way of cooking chicken and if you look on my working surface i've got the different recipes display on the surface first of all i'm going to start by washing my hands and as you can see i've got my chicken i've got my pot my cooking oil you can use either cooking oil or you use butter depending on you whichever you prefer to use and down here i've got some items as well i'm going to take this now I'll just put it down to the sink yeah, so you can be able to see this clearly even though you're seeing it I know you are seeing it but it might not be too clear so I've got some recipes that I'm going to be using I use a half table salt my seasoning or purple seasoning the honey cube this I'm using the no cubes not the honey cubes so then the no cube then I've got some tomatoes onion mushroom some parsley and shallot. I've got shallot and wine. Remember I said I'm making chicken chazo and it's a different type of chicken. So we're going to be using wine for the stock. So to start with this recipe, what I'm going to be doing is I will put some oil into the pot. This pot is dry. So I'm going to put some sunflower oil into this pot. I'll put this on the gas cooker to be to warm warm it up a little bit. While that is going on, I'm going to season my chicken. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt to it, just a pinch of salt. I have about 10 pieces of chicken in there. So I'm going to put this one teaspoon of all seasoning, then some no cube I use one and a half which is three maggi cube in case you are using maggi cube three maggi cube one teaspoon of the ogopo seasoning and like one quarter teaspoon of the salt and i'm going to add a little bit of blended seasoning this is um, uh, bell peppers this is optional guys but i just like the flavor of it Hey guys now i'm going to put place my chicken in the cooking oil this is it chicken you have to make sure you leave the skin on i'm going to leave it in there for some minutes Cook it up until it is golden brown. Then we turn the side of the chicken. We turn the side because no one is getting burned. This is the color of the chicken. It's supposed to be this golden brown. So this is the first one. I'm cooking the second one. Okay, this is the chicken. So what I'm going to do, I have some few pieces in the pot. I'm just going to gently put this one back inside. Then I cover it up, cook it in the oven. I just put it in the oven for low heat. I'll drop a little bit of, a little bit of water. So I'm just going to put it in the oven. You can just stick over it up on the stove to cook or if you prefer to cook it in the oven like what I'm trying to do now, then that's it depends on you. So I'm going to put it in the oven, cover it up and allow it to cook for without wasting time while the chicken is cooking up in the oven. I'm just going to go ahead and do the stock. So I put a little bit of cooking oil. I'm just going to go ahead and add and put in the pan my dice or sliced onion. Depending on the temperature you're using, you're going to put the onion for about one to two minutes. Okay, now I'm going to add the slice of mushroom and the shallot to the onion. I'll cover it up 
to cook for about two to four minutes. I'm going to continue adding the stuff. This is wine, white wine that I'm using to cook the chasse chicken sauce. So I'm going to add this white wine to it. I'm going to add this stuff. This one is called a juicy stuff. <laughs> It's something like gravy. So I'm going to add it to the white one. Then now I add the tomato. So I'm going to allow it to cook for about 5 to 10 minutes. Then I'll come back to it. Our chicken is still in the oven cooking. up the stock a little bit more some of this blended um, bear peppers I'll put some more cubes leave it to cook for a few more minutes okay this is the stock it's ready so I'm just going to add a little bit of the chicken stock to it then we can now add it to so we can have a little bit of on it that is uh what's us we've come to the end of our chicken shells are not ready to the end though but this is the sauce this is how it looks like then this is the chicken so what you do is you have to add the sauce to the chicken mix it up with the chicken put it on the chicken but i'm going to do that i'm not going to mix it up now i'm going to do that when i want to eat so you can either just pour the sauce on top of the chicken mix everything together and share for the family or you put the sauce at the side of the rice because i'm going to be eating it with some rice so when i do when i boil the rice and put everything on the plate i'm going to show you how it looks like so it all depends on you if you want to mix the chicken inside the sauce now and put it in the rice or you just want to put the chicken separately from the stock and the rice so thank you so much for staying with me to the end and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out in more yummy english food and african food so they will have come to the end of our chasse chicken thank you so much guys bye see you next time guys bye that's the chicken and this is the sauce